Hello friend, come back again to Netfilter channel. Do you know the cool feature that is implemented in Blazor from ASP core version of 8.0 preview? Let's have a look. This component is known as Blazor section. Now, this component is very useful when creating actually um, a type of um, service whereby you want to get counter increment let's say you have a page whereby it's an e-commerce web application whereby people add items to cart now you can see that from the cart item you must have an, uh, a service which is going to count the item that you have in your cart and display the the answer or the result on top of the application if it is the items are three it must say three if it is four you must see four at first we used to create service for that but with the help of the asp core 8.0 preview uh, this blazer section has solved the problem let's have a look it is saying that in blazer uh, section we can have the following section outlet and section id or section content so what is this section outlet is what going to display we have to put this section outlet at wherever they want to set up in the main layout and the section id it is where we are going to refer or the section content it is a where we are going to refer whatever that you want to display on top of or inside the section outlet. Let's have a look uh, at how to go about this component. So let's first create a Blazor server or Blazor WebAssembly project. So I'm going to create a new project and this is going to be Blazor WebAssembly. So let me give it a name as Blazor section so choose 8.0 because you know this component or this feature is, is actually available from the 8.0 and above so make sure you're using the 8.0 preview so click on create so we have a new um, project so let's run this project to see what we have now. That is a Blazor WebAssembly. And the title of this project is a Blazor section. So when you check the documentation, you know, uh, learned at Microsoft.com, and you can now look up for a component and um, section and a component. So first of all, we have to add this to the namespace. So let's grab this. Now let's go to your project. Okay, so we need to, let me have internet access so we can continue. Okay, so let's have the project running. Uh, you click on it and yeah, we have it uh, available here. So you can see there are some few things that have been added to the default. You can see we have a uh, show profile now with this show profile it is a component and when you click on it let's see what happened so nothing happens here now these are the flowing um component that have been added right but let's talk about this feature that is known as a section so what it's saying here is let's use this counter let's assume we have boxes here item that we want to add so as soon as i click on add you want to show this counter here this is going to add to the item and you must have the item displayed on top here so let's see now let's go to the counter page so we go to the, the counter now the counter here that is what you want to um do let's say you have this button right but if you check the the documentary or the documentation it is saying we have to add this to the import so let's copy this 
and let's go to the application we have this import so let's add this to the import let's save that the next thing that we can do here is we have to add this to the main layout so let's go to the main layout and that is a shared folder click on it and we have the main layout so we see from here we have this this is a top row so this top row let's add this like this okay so we have this section over here and so the name that one uh, pull up is the one that is a top row now let's see after having the name the next thing we can do here is we go to surround the button with this section and now take note that here we pass in session content then we pass in the name now the name here it is referring to the outlet name that we set up over here so whatever thing that you put over here is going to be displayed on top of whatever that we uh displayed or we set up here so it's it's like there is a container and there is a content so put a container on top and what wherever that you pass in the content this content is going to cut it up and now displace it so let's grab this here or you can grab everything from this area let's copy this let's go to where we have a um, counter and now here we can paste this here now let's save this let's go to the component now let's see so if i click on this i must have the counter displayed here let's refresh this application and see so now we have this we, let's also make a copy of this because we want to display the content of this so let's copy this and let's paste this here okay so this is a section name so whatever thing that I displayed here is going to take effect it's not going to actually display um it's going to display this button here so we can click okay and also going to display the counter as well let's save this and now let's refresh this and see okay so it is now reloading and let's see the the output of this okay so we go to the counter page and let's click on this next you have this counter here now i can just click on click me now this is going to count click me to is still going to count so you see it is working this also working now let's also display something like this so let's say you have the item here let's display something like um, this let's display maybe um box uh, let's say a list okay so now with that this is an item and here we want to display the current count so maybe you want to say that um cut okay so you want to say now you know here we have this current count now we can say it's count we want to display this current count so this kind of, that's over here but we want to say cut so this are cut now you want to say that item so we want to display the current items now when we save this so we only have one we have one item two items so etc so let's see let's cut this and let's say we want to display this content in that section um content there so let's refresh this and see what we want, we, uh, we're going to have now so instead of creating a service to render the current count when the button is clicked using the section outlet and the section content um uh, fix this for us now let's see so this has made creating e-commerce very easy because we have cut item the the current item here is so that is zero item if i click on because we have one item so let's have this a button that i want to click there's an item that i click as soon as i click you get this count um you get this counted so you can see two 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So as soon as I click, it keeps what added. Yeah. So that is it for this video. Now make good use of um, these sections and especially when creating commerce e-commerce site or e-commerce applications. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like what I'm doing, give me a thumbs up. Maybe in the later on, we're going to have a full project on how to use this uh, business section uh, in an e-commerce uh, project. Uh, let's see. Maybe we're going to talk about that in some other time. So take care of yourself and I'm going to catch you up in the next video.